Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys five ways to save a makeup look because sometimes you're not as good at makeup as you want to be and I have been in this situation countless times so all of these tips are going to be tried and true by yours truly because there's so many times that I want to be quite ambitious with the look that I might want to try something new that might not have worked out, that I might be doing something that has worked out a million times before, but for some reason in that situation it's not looking good. These are five ways to save a makeup look and I am completely open to doing a part two to this video, giving you guys five more ways to save a makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing this sort of thing, please let me know. I would love to do this part two to this. There are so many different ways I have screwed my makeup up in the past and there's so many ways to fix the situation. What if one day you have a really bad eyeshadow look? How do you fix the situation? Well, there are a variety of ways your eyeshadow look can turn out bad. The colors might not look good together and you don't know how to fix it. The eyeshadow look might look a little bit muddy. That happens to me more often than I would like to admit. Or the eyeshadow just looks dull. You've done your eyeshadow primer, you've applied glitter glue where you need it, and for some reason your eyeshadow look looks dull and it just looks uninteresting so you don't know what to do. Well, my favorite, favorite fix for this to make your eyeshadow look go from zero to just 100 is to apply a shiny glittery product on top of your eyeshadow look. I love a liquid eyeshadow because liquid eyeshadows can really take your look to the next level. You All you have to do is take a little bit on your finger and just tap it into the center of the lid and all of a sudden your makeup look is transformed. Also just glitters in general, um, Urban Decay makes some great glitters as well. You can also find some great eye safe glitter from a variety of brands. And you can just take any sort of glittery product, put it on top of your eyeshadow and all of a sudden your eyes eyes look absolutely amazing. I have done this in several tutorials. I admit, I actually did this on my eyes today. My eye look looked a little bit too dark for my liking. I didn't like how the shadows were looking. I thought it was a little bit not so great. So what I did is I basically took a variety of like glittery, shimmery uh, shadow top coats. I took a liquid shadow, I believe, and one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow products. So I took both of those products and I basically layered them by tapping them on with my finger on my lid. And I think it turned out pretty decent. I mean, it looks pretty great. It definitely looks a lot better than it did. And I'm actually quite proud of this makeup look. What if your face looks cakey? Cake face can be caused by a variety of different reasons. And I'm going to give you several options based on what your situation might be. I would definitely say that if you have like a dull, cakey, matte looking face, to not rely so much on just piling on the highlighter. Because while it may look great in photos, in real life, if you have an already dull looking face and then you have like highlighter piled on top of it, it just looks too much. I would suggest making use of a fixing spray or of a setting spray. I have several options in my collection. I don't use them that often, but I have realized that whenever I was layering a lot of full coverage foundation and baking, that whenever my face would look just too dull, I would take a spray, be it the Morphe spray or the MAC uh, Prep and Prime spray. And I believe that L'Oreal makes a really great setting spray. I would just spray my face pretty liberally and I would let it just soak in all that moisture and my face would look a lot better. So if you have a dull, cakey, matte looking face and you want to fix that, just spray it with some setting spray or some fixing spray and that will look so much better. If you do not have those products, just take some water put it into like a spray bottle and spray that on your face instead. Because essentially what you want to do is you want to add a slight amount of moisture in your, to your face 
by just spraying some on because once you give the opportunity for makeup to really just melt into your skin, you can create an effect that is very much improved. Another reason for cake face is just the appearance of having a lot of makeup on the skin. And if you have that situation occur, I would suggest either taking a blotting sheet and just blotting your face because that can actually really just help make things look a little bit more put together or just spraying the face again because sometimes I think that adding that moisture to your face can really just help the makeup look a little bit more like it's part of your actual skin rather than like it's just sitting on the skin, if that makes any sense. The next situation that I want to talk about is iffy eyeshadow. Again, um, I know I mentioned the glitter tip before, but sometimes that just isn't enough. And if that is the case, I would suggest putting some false lashes on. And if you don't know how to put false lashes on, try and practice again and again. And I promise you, practice is the key to false lash application. Applying false lashes to an eye look that is just not the best can really serve as a way to fix that look and make it a lot better than it actually is because false lashes in general can just improve the overall look of your eyeshadow and of your eye look just in general. But I would not suggest using this fix all the time every single time your eyeshadow look looks subpar. I would suggest simply getting better eyeshadow. Get to the point where you can look at your eyeshadow and know that you do not have to put false lashes on top of it to make it look better. But if you're still in the learning stage and you might have been a little bit too ambitious with an eye look and it doesn't necessarily look the best, putting eyelashes on top of it can improve it. The next tip that I have is a quick fix for messy winged eyeliner. Now, I do eyeliner on my face every single day. I love doing like a classic winged liner for like an everyday work-friendly makeup look and just like smoking out my lower lash line. That is like my favorite look right now ever. I love it so much. It's very simple. But the unfortunate thing is Eyeliner, like just doing winged eyeliner is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to do. Sometimes it feels like it is on a good day, but when you've woken up at 5 a.m. and you don't know what's going on, sometimes your, eye your eyeliner can look absolutely just terrible and you realize it when the eyeliner has already set and you can't really move it around that much. Well, in that situation, I would suggest grabbing a Q-tip, dipping it into a little bit of eye makeup remover, and just using that to clean up the line a little bit. You don't necessarily have to remove your entire eyeliner look, but by just taking a little bit of eye makeup remover, dipping it into that Q-tip, you can create essentially like a, an eraser for your eyeliner, and you can really just fix it quite effectively. If you don't have makeup remover on hand, I would suggest taking that Q-tip and dipping it into a little bit of soap and just rubbing some soap on it because I have used soap to fix my eyeliner in the past several times and it has worked pretty effectively. Not as effectively or as quickly as an eye makeup remover might work, but I think that soap is a great substitute because it won't necessarily get everywhere as long as you're using a relatively damp but not soaked Q-tip. And I think it's a great quick fix and it allows you to fix your eyeliner quickly and efficiently without losing your mind. And the next tip that I have is a quick fix for tired, dull looking makeup. Now I'm not just talking about um, any specific part of your makeup, I'm just talking about the overall look. You might be very tired, you might just have like a bad makeup day, but for whatever reason your makeup look just looks dull. And I would caution against trying to put on, again, a lot of highlighter on your face because while highlighter can look beautiful in pictures and in video, I can attest to that. In real life, if you have a tired, dull looking face and your first resort is to apply more highlight on, sometimes it just adds more attention to the problem, especially if you have a lot of texture on your face. So what my suggestion is, is to try and gauge your makeup look. See if you can apply a bright lip to the look to just liven it up a little bit. I know that the first resort is to generally utilize a 
nude lip. However, if your makeup looks a little bit too dull, finding the perfect bright red lip and applying that can really make you look so much more awake, so much more fresh and lively. However, I definitely think that attitude matters a lot when you're wearing a bright lip. For example, whenever I have a bright red lip on for work, I know that I need to attach a sense of attitude to that lip look. I kind of have to compel myself to be a little bit more attentive and to just really pay attention to how my face is looking because I will say that even though a bright red lip or just like any kind of bright lip in general can really just like awaken your face and make you look so much more fresh, sometimes if you have a resting bitch face, a bright red lip can kind of add to that. So try to make sure that you're paying a lot of attention to your expression because you have a lot of attention on your mouth especially and you gotta make sure that the red lip is adding to your overall appearance and not detracting for it. So if you don't think that a red lip will work for you in that situation, if you don't want to bother with one, I would suggest taking a little bit of lip balm and applying some gloss on top because wearing a glossy lip can add so much more moisture to the face. It can really make you look really fresh, especially if you want to look a little bit more pared down and a little bit more minimal. Sometimes we don't want to necessarily call attention to ourselves by wearing a bright lip and that's okay. Well, in that case, if you still want to look a little bit more fresh and a little bit more wide awake, I would suggest applying a gloss and that can really transform a makeup look that might've been a little bit more dull and tired looking into a look that looks a lot more fresh, a lot more rejuvenated, if you will. So those are my five tips to really save a makeup look and a bad makeup day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Again, if you want me to do a part two to this video, and I can definitely do one because I have so many other tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys, let me know uh, by either giving this video a thumbs up or just letting me know in the comments below because I only want to do it if you guys actually want to see it, you know? I do hope you were able to get some interesting information from this video. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.